the Alec Bradley Black Market in Churchill. I'm Garrett Bertram from Twin Tobacco and today we got another epic cigar review. Not that long ago, my last cigar review was the Alec Bradley Black Market Filthy Hooligan Barber Pole Edition. That was a special release for St. Patrick's Day. I enjoyed it very much, and so I'm also looking forward to uh, trying the original Black Market. Apparently the blend is the same, it's just the wrappers are different. Ah, there's one wrapper and then there's another wrapper underneath it. That's kind of interesting. No obvious squishy spots. Slightly toothy wrapper, a medium oil sheen, pretty large double cap, rich kind of barnyard earth. We'll talk more about the blend and other interesting facts about the cigar, but in the meantime, let's cut it up and see what it tastes like. Perfect draw, caps are holding strong. I'm like, why am I having trouble? Oh, it's because my fan is on. I'll turn that back on once it's already lit. Now I see that my lighter is empty. I usually wait a second or two for it to kind of warm back up in my hand before I try to light right away. Let's light the cigar and see what it tastes like. Real earthy kind of leather, almost kind of chalky a medium ground between dry mouth and slight oil. Pretty long finish, I still have flavor in my mouth. I'll keep smoking and I'll check back with you guys in the next third. Eighteen minutes in, ooh the ash looks like it's about to fall in my lap. Burning great, not quite perfect, but great overall. Perfect draw, plenty of smoke output. Even though it's medium bodied, the primary flavor is like a earthy coffee. There's some hints of chocolate. I have a slight chalk feel on the, on the tongue. So some more quick notes about the cigar. Like I said, it's a Churchill. However, this Churchill, it's seven inches, which is pretty standard, but it is 50 ring gauge, which most Churchills tend to be a little bit thinner, but 50 ring gauge is one of my favorites. Um, cigar International lists the cigar at having received a 90 rating. Let's go into the blend. This cigar is featuring a Honduras wrapper, binder and long fillers of four different tobaccos from four different countries, which is quite unique. Hamastrin, Honduras, and Panamaranian long fillers. A Sumatra binder. I had to look up what Hamastra is it's a valley in Honduras reputable for growing fine tobacco. So this is uh, some top grade stuff. Cuban cigars, they talk about the uh, certain valleys that grow the finest tobaccos. So now they're starting to uh, tote their horns on what they got happening in the Hamastran districts. Ah, uh, I just dropped the ash on my lap. Well, the ash came off at 20 minutes. Pairing with the cigar, I got some decaf coffee, because it is in the evening, but also I'm smoking the black market, so I decided to go and give uh, Johnny Walker Black Label a try. I'll keep smoking, and we'll check back in for the next third. Fifty-four minutes in, burning very well. No touch-up lights needed or anything like that. Great draw. The ash is flowering a lot. A little bit messy, but all around, that's a small complaint. Flavor-wise, the initial boldness has dropped a little bit. So now I've gotten more of a like a smooth coffee with a slight hint of oil and spice and kind of a general strong leather flavor. Anyways, I'll check back in for the final third. An hour and 42 minutes in, Starting to get hot, so I'm gonna call it quits pretty soon. Final smoke time, hour and 30 to hour 45. Towards the end, the body picked up uh, as it usually tends to with cigars. Um, I'm getting one of my favorite notes, charcoal. Getting some charcoal. Let's see what else I wrote down. 
I got some oily draws, definitely no more chalk. The chalk is completely died off. Slight hints of meatiness and a very pleasant oil taste on my mouth. These are typically uh, flavors that you find in high-end Maduro cigars and one of the original characteristics of cigars that uh, made me fall in love with them. Let's move into final thoughts. A very complex blend and full of all kinds of uh, transitions and interesting notes. It started out a very interesting medium bodied cigar with a lot of character and uniqueness and now it's ending with maybe less uniqueness but some of my favorite Maduro flavors. Maduros always make a great after dinner cigar but medium strength. Uh, I've had very little issues with the nicotine and I haven't even had a full dinner yet. And with that Churchill size, a very hefty and regal smoke time. Alec Bradley always bring in great bang for buck value. Completely different from the uh, Filthy Hooligan edition. The Filthy Hooligan with the Candela really changed things up a lot. As far as pairings go, the coffee went great as to be expected. If you're a fan of the channel, you know I love coffee with cigars. The Johnny Walker Black Label did leave a bit of a sour note, but I am always a fan of Johnny Walker Black Label. Hard to hate it. I did try it with some Johnny Walker Green Label. Time to treat myself. The Green Label has kind of like a rich sweetness that went great too, but also did leave me a little bit sour. One day in the future, I'm going to have to crack open a bottle of red wine. Something about the charcoal and meatiness of a lot of uh, Maduro cigars leads me to think that red wine would go great. Unfortunately, I don't want to open up a whole bottle just for myself, but uh, keep that in mind. It might also go great. I'll leave it with that. Post in the comments what are some other Alec Bradley cigars you want me to check out in the future and also what's your favorite Alec Bradley cigar. Be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends. Enjoy your smokes. We'll see you next time.